Okay, so I've worked on a presentation for my class and I'm giving an overview of some TAMI CC information. I'm going to make a video for incoming students. So these are my slides that I made in Canva. There are no animations, no stickers, no videos on any of them. So they're all images. When I go to the top button here under present, I'm going to download them as images. You can also download this as a PowerPoint, but I want to download them as images because I'm going to upload them into iMovie. So your two image files, you have PNGs, which are high quality images and JPEGs. So I'm going to download them as PNGs because I'm using the video, the them for video, the size, I actually expand it larger in the pixels to two and a half so that it looks really clear when I upload it to YouTube. And then here you can click on the pages you want to download. So I'm actually going to download all eight of the pages. I need elevator music. I really like that Canva gives you little quotes while you're waiting for your stuff to download. So once this downloads, it's actually going to download into a zip file where it has all of the images together. So I hit continue editing and then I go to my finder. And here is the zip file. I'm going to double click it. When I click on the zip file, then I'm able to see the folder expanded and my images are in here. So now what I'm going to do is go to iMovie. This is what I use to actually record. So I'm in iMovie and I'm going to import content so here's my images and I'm just going to click on all of them import them and now I'll just drag them in the order that they're supposed to be in now in iMovie when I click on them because they're an image if you can see in this right hand side that it's zooming in it's moving I click on those up to the crop and I fit it so that it doesn't actually zoom in so in iMovie whenever you import import videos it just automatically does that so you have to remember to go in and adjust it so I put in all of my images And these images do not have audio on them. So I'm actually doing a screencast now to show you how I create videos. But once I finish this screencast, then I'll actually go in and I can put music over the slides. I could actually talk if I wanted to do a presentation or if I just wanted it to be slides itself. And if you look right here on this little bar, this is only 32 seconds long, which is really great because I'm just giving students an overview of the university. So you don't want your videos to be too long. You need to break them up. So something else that I do is I will go to youtube.com backslash audio library. Here's an audio library that has free music. This music is different types of sounds. So I usually go through and find something that I might want to use on my video as an intro. You can even go in and look for it by genre. You can look for it by the mood. And then even if you're looking for a particular instrument, 
Another great thing in the audio library from YouTube is that these are open to be used. So you don't actually, you know, YouTube, it'll say this music. If you're using a modern day artist, it'll say this music is from somebody else and it will mute or distort your sound. These are audio files that you can actually use. You can also go in here and there's sound effects. I did a video one time that was outside and I wanted it to sound like there were crickets. So I typed in crickets and then you get like different cricket sounds that people would be able to hear. So it's really great just to be able to use this. And then you just download it and then you'll actually upload it back into your iMovie. So I already have a couple of audio files in here from things that I've used before. Once I finish putting my video together in iMovie, which I can work on my transitions between the slides, between each photo, what I want it to look like. And then I go to File, Share, and YouTube, and I'll upload it to YouTube as a YouTube video. You could also upload it as a file. And that's pretty much how I design a video presentation.